Hi all, um, I have just come out with the Mew Mew or 2019 show. Um, I am a huge fan of Mew Mew, so I always get rather excited um, going to the shows. It's always in the same place, it's um, Palais de Ayena, she says. Um, and last season they kind of transformed it with this new take on a logo. Um, and last season I was totally in love with the collection, I thought it was brilliant. Um, kind of cherry picking um, items from the Prada collection and making Mew Mewifying them. Um, with extra diamantes and very sweet baby dolls and wonderfully glittery shoes. This season a complete step away from what Prada have been doing and a step away from the Spring Summer 19 altogether for Mew Mew. Um, and just a little bit of a different take I think. So we walk into the space and um, there's films and interactive art installations by Shana Osborne um, who's fabulous, I really love her work. Um, and so there's like, lots of different posters such as these everywhere. This came with the invite by the way. Um, some little pictures of windows, this is plastic, um, and then I had something else as well, but I think I've dropped it already, um, all around the place, and, and um, almost a bit collage -y. so some screens are playing videos of tulips, some screens are playing videos of girls, um, it feels very cut and pasty, what you would have on your bedroom wall when, if you, I was about to say when you were a young girl, but not all of you are young girls, um, and just that, that collecting items and sticking them on your wall and that's the that's the mood I started to get and you know creating your safe space with a poster of your favorite band and a doodle you might have done um, in a moment of angst and and um, I love those that kind of collected idea um, fashion wise um, the first section of the collection was the best for me um, Mutia backstage have been saying that um, well I caught a glimpse of or I caught an earful of her saying that um, this was about the private spaces and those private moments you get when you're alone and by yourself. Um, and I totally see that in Shana's work and the set setting of the scene. I didn't quite see that in the clothes because to me these girls seemed like explorers. Um, so the first looks were much more introverted and slightly made more sense about being in, the pri in your own private space. Um, beautiful sheer dresses with delicate little puff sleeves and wonderful um, ornamental floral prints in I think digital and some embroidered those are really brilliant and best of all in the first opening looks were the shoes uh, Mew Mew shoes are always really wonderful and these were had a trainer sole in a wedge um, and then sometimes the sock would be embroidered with flowers and silken up to the knee and that trainery wedge sole I th it reminds me of a shoe they've done Previously, I can't remember the season for the life of me, but it's that sport sole with a boot on the top, um, which I loved, and that came in black and some camo print, um, and those were brilliant. And then other girls were wearing sweet little velveteen slippers with little straps over the feet, and those came in patents as well throughout the collection. Um, so great shoes, really love the shoes. Um, and then this camo keeps getting carried on throughout the collection, and this is where I start getting the explorer vibe um, because we start getting parkers with front pockets, rucksacks with multiple storage ports and pockets everywhere, so kind of pantaloons in some situations with big pockets on the front. And there was a real utility motif throughout as well, again with the pockets, parkers, outerwear. Um, the boots I was talking about before almost gave a cross-terrain um, mood so you start to feel like these girls are explorers and kind of unpicking new territories and discovering new things and I thought that was really interesting um, some really wonderful Penny Lane coats as well with big cape in cape styles with big hoods and so some of them were in jackets some of them were really long lined to the floor and those with the little dainty velveteen shoes underneath I thought was brilliant and kind of gave this dreamscape um, red riding hood even though it wasn't red um, atmosphere which I quite liked. I wasn't as keen on the camouflage just because I feel camouflage had a major moment not that long ago and so it feels whenever you it's still a little bit too soon since the trend of it so when you see it you start feeling a bit like oh have I seen this before I'm not quite sure but I did like it combined with these puffball skirts and the big um, frilled hems on skirts which I thought was really good so a little bit of a combination there um, of success in my opinion I did like the music really set the tone for this kind of camo explorer that I've conjured in my head. Um, we started, there was a kind of organ version of Mariah Carey's I'd Risk It All, and then that kind of merged into some real rock 
like teen punk um, songs and then at the end it was Ace of Spades and so that again ties in with this interior space and girls curating their own space and the wonderful thing about Mew Mew is that it's so fresh and young and it really caters to this specific girl or specific woman um, and it is just the bit the younger younger Prada but not not in the same vein I think the Mew Mew girl's got a different attitude and a different mentality and is perhaps going to learn about all the political tropes of Prada one day but at the moment she's full of kind of passion and angst and um, excitement and so I really like that and that came across in this collection definitely um, there was a toning down of the Diamante that there was previous collections last collection was Diamante everywhere and here there was Diamante collars and a few chokers but um, much calmer down and again it was quite camo and brown and earthy in the colour palette so I would say a mixed review for this Mew Mew. I really loved some really key elements. I loved the styling and the music and the presentation with um, Osborne's artwork, but I'm a little lost as to what it's trying to say or what it's trying to, um, what how it can, how it's trying to engage with the viewer. But um, beautiful clothes nonetheless. Can't argue with that. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. That's Mew Mew, um, and we have one more review, and then that's Paris Fashion Week over. <gasps> Um, but thank you guys for sticking with us and watching all of them. Um, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the very last one. Um, and I'll see you guys very soon.